So the next step is to set up a fixed account and track the depreciation of an accounting information system that you purchase on 1-1-2017. Now the original cost of the system was $10,000 plus the last four digits of your ID. In my case is 9999, so my system would be 19,999. Again, this is the last four digits, right? Um, we are going to use the maker's method of depreciation with a, uh, a GDS of five years and no residual value. Um, excuse me. We, I'm giving you the actual depreciation percentages for each year uh, to make it easy for you guys, meaning that the first year will have a 20 year, I'm sorry, a 20% um, depreciation uh expense 32 percent for the second year 19 20 percent and so on for the rest of the years now we need to calculate the 2017 year depreciation and enter it as as the up-to-date accumulated depreciation let's change like as of really it should be as of 12. Oh, i'm sorry it should be as of 1 1 2018 right because that depreciation entry will happen at the end of the year 2017 but if you recall we are opening the books as of 1 1 2018 so everything that happened prior to 1 1 2018 has to be entered either on a journal entry or in the setup and then we're also going to do a journal entry for the depreciation expense for year two at the end of 2018. all right so let's get started first let me bring a little spreadsheet so you can see what is happening as far as the depreciation expense so uh, under the maker system we have the following rate with the following percentages, right? I'm gonna say that as of 1-1-2017, my item used to cost 19,999. Um, so as of 12-31-2017, uh, my depreciation expense should be this. Um, and let me see if I can just change this to be, um, 12, 31, 2018, 12, 31, 2019, 12, 31, 2020, 12, 31, 2021, 12, 31, 2022. And you're going to be doing a lot of uh, tracking of depreciation schedules in your profession. So it's good that you create this. A lot of times you want to have just a master sheet for everything in a business or you may want to track them separately by assets so anyway so what was the depreciation expense of 12 31 2017 well that's very easy right that was the 191999 uh, let me uh times the 20 percent so that should have been my depreciation expense so as of the end of the year my book value for my accounting information system was just 15999 And so every year after that, right, I am going to, I'm going to appreciate exactly the following amount, right, the 19999 times, oh, just copy this. Uh, and this would be a little bit less because we want to make sure that it's only 19999 and we'll get to that in a minute. Let me see, 1944. So whatever the balance is. Um, so this would have been this balance minus this and so forth. And then this has to just be the leftover, the remainder. And so this would give us uh, a zero at the end. So that's basically it. Let me make sure that I'm using the right percentages. 20, oh, 32%. I made a typo here. So let's correct that my apologies 20 percent 32 19.20 11.50 so one of the things that you also always want to do is double check your work when something's not working correctly so in this case um let me just copy the formula and see if that would have been the same yeah it actually works out to be the same okay zero percent all right that's it now i'm being asked to enter my create an asset in my book. So let's go back to our QuickBooks. 
and we are going to create a new account. Before we do that, let's find the depreciations accounts. There's no depreciation accounts. Okay, so we'll we'll have to create one once we and we'll change that in a minute. But okay, so let's create that new new. Uh, it's going to be a fixed asset account that is of uh, machinery and equipment according to our assignment. And I'm going to rename this to be FPAIS. Uh, my description is going to be an accounting information system that we purchased. We are not going to change anything else. Let me just make sure that I'm using the right name. This is your initials 2017. Um, let's see from 2017. I'm going to track the depreciation of this asset. So this automatic, automatically creates two sub accounts for this asset. One that will track its, track its original cost and one to track the depreciation expense. So my original cost as of 1, 1, 2017 was the 10,000, I'm sorry, as of 1, 1, 2017 was the 10,000 plus the 9999, the last four digits of my ID. So in my case, my my system was nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and my depreciation as of one one twenty eighteen, which is when I'm opening the books for this um, for this company, because I don't have to go back and track everything. I can just say, well, I'm just tracking all the expenses and revenue as of twenty eighteen. So let's see where we were at as of twenty eighteen. Ah, huh. at the end of the year. This was my depreciation expense that was accumulated, $39.9980. So then I can just go back and plug it in, $39.99.80 as of 1, 1, 2018. Day before we enter this, so that should be good. All right, so then we're going to save and close it. All right, so now I can see this. FP account AIS as a fixed asset account. And then this is the original account and this is the, the, the accumulated depreciation. I'm gonna go in here just to make sure that I do not confuse the depreciation account. Let's change this to the accumulated depreciation for, so that we can see that. And then we just save and close it, right? So when we do journal entries, in a minute, it will be easy to identify. Let me also see if I have another depreciation expense. Uh, I do have an, another expense. Why don't we just modify this and call this depreciation expense so that we know that that is the expense account. And the detail type is still a other expense called depreciation. And that's wonderful. So notice that I renamed the depreciation expense account into depreciation expense and my accumulated depreciation account into depreciation. Notice that my book value of my asset should match 15,999.20. So if we go back to that spreadsheet, it should match my balance and as of that year. And when we're done with our entries, we should be matching to this amount. All right, so next. We've already calculated 2017 depreciation. Now let's go ahead and enter a journal entry for the depreciation expense for year two on 1231 2018. So how do we do that in our QuickBooks? We just have to go in and do a, um, a journal entry. So you can go to the plus sign and go to the journal entry. And we are going to do this journal entry as of which date? Well, it's the end of the year, 12, 20, 31, 2018, so that's December 31st, 2018. I'm gonna call this journal number one and I'm gonna assign it a um, depreciation um, adjustments, right? Oh, actually, let's just put that on the memo. Memo would be depreciation adjustments. All right, so how do we do, how do we record an expense? We always say my depreciation expense must be debited, right? For what amount? We can go back to our spreadsheet and we see that the depreciation expense for that year was 639968. That's gonna change for you, right? For year 2018. And I, let me just use seeing markers. 